let's check out my dad's soil. We're out at 100x right now. Let's see what we see. We're just going to do a scan here up and down and see if we can find anything interesting. So far it's looking pretty good. I'm not seeing any uh, clear bits that you would normally see on a tilled or compacted soil. Seeing all aggregates. That's kind of interesting looking right there. Let's take a quick spin in and see if this is a some sort of cyst or something here. Might just be an aggregate. Let me adjust the color. Get our focus in. And it was, I think it was right over here somewhere. There we go. What's that? Looking like there's stuff in there. Hmm. Very interesting looking. Not sure what that is. Could just be some plant matter. Alright. Let's actually take a quick look and for what we see in bacteria in there. Yeah, we got a bunch of different little shapes and sizes bumbling around. That's looking pretty healthy amount of bacteria. All right, let's bounce back out to 100. And just our light a little bit here. Yeah, right about there. All right. And let's continue our scan. Ooh, over there I see a little clear strand, but eh. let's look around a little bit for... See if we can find any beneficial organisms first. Alright. Looking for anything moving or knocking these aggregates about. Looks like plant matter in the middle there. Might be a small fungal hyphae, that little strand. Pretty dark in color. I think off to the side here we see that looks like a nice hyphae. Young one, clear. But before we inspect some stuff like that, yeah, that's some organic matter. It's a lot of nice aggregates. Oh, we got a very round thing over here. What's that? Is it moving? Alright, let's scope that out real quick. A little bit closer. Oh, wrong way. More light. Yeah, it's rare you see something perfectly round. What is that? Hmm. It's kind of like a lot like that other thing that we were looking at too. Just a little rounder, but same kind of texture. Little fungal hyphae right there above it. Alright, back out to the scan. Less light. And see, we're going up. Bunch of big plant matter there, organic matter. Organic matter and some little hyphaes air bubble. Thought I saw something move. Mm. A lot of good aggregates. Can't complain so far. Looks like some fungi in those aggregates. Organic matter. Alright. Looks like we're getting up towards the top here. Got some bubbles. Let's go over and back down again. A lot of good aggregates. A couple of clear bits there, but. Really not that many. I 
Come on. Let's find a nematode. Something's moving around right in there. Try to adjust my shading a little bit. We gotta zoom in there. I think I might see a little nematode being nice and still. Or taking a nap. Uh, no, I think it's just fungal hyphae. Thought that might be. No, or plant matter. Not sure what that is. Shading back out a little bit. Hmm. All right, continue the scan. All right, we were going down, I believe. Kind of looks like a nematode, but it's either a dead one or just plant matter. Yeah, I think it's just plant. Close. I want to see something like that wiggling around in there. That looks like some... Yeah, nice little hyphae or two in that aggregate. I'd like to see them a little bit bigger, but there's a brand new soil and raised bed that we just put put together this year, so we got to give it a little bit of time. All right, let's go back up. There's some more fungi. It's a good size one. Focus. Oop. A lot of organic matter. Oh, yes. Definitely some nice fungi around the edges there. Alright. Let's find some creatures. <clears throat> sorts of fungal hyphae here. That's looking nice. Alright, we gotta we gotta look at the good fungi up close. Whoa. Almost knocked into the slide. But looks like we actually just missed it. We're still in the same spot. Alright. Let's look at this. Looking for some good septi. That's kind of bumpy. Let's see. Yeah, I'm not seeing the 
separations in the cell wall that we really want to see there. I can continue it over here. Hopefully it's not an almice. But it's uh, it could be a different type of fungi. like over here. Yep, we saw that. It's very long, but very clear and not seeing any separations in the cell walls, so it's looking more like an omicy than a fungi at the moment. Fortunately, but right over here, that's more like what we want to see. Nice brown color. Well, it's too small to see the septa. It's too dark and colored, but could just be a piece of a root. But that's the color we're looking for in the fungi. All right, back out to 100, and let's see if we can find a critter. Something's actually just moving, was just moving around that. But probably just the fragile or just the bacteria moving about. That's good to see. We gotta we gotta look at a good fungi here. I think that's a good one. Where were we? Ooh, we got a, that may be a spore. That is a piece of fungi. Can we see the Yep. See a little septum there. Separation in the cells. Yep, see a couple more breaks there. One line right there. Another line there, I believe. That's a nice fat colored fungi type you want to see. Alright, so now we saw a good fungi. Uh, less light. Let's see if we can find... Something big moving around in there. It's cool to look at. And there's the edge. Oh no, we're drying out. We still got time. Right, let's go over here. Anything up here? I think that motion was just it drying, pushing stuff around. Let's go down and finish this scan. Oh, 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 what's that? We have a... Uh, that's a nematode. Let's go in and check them out. Where'd you go? Where was he? Thought I had him pretty centered. Where'd he go? Hmm, what are those? Oh, that looks like a little... It's an amoeba. That's an interesting looking... It's gotta be some sort of amoeba. Or a cyst creature living inside. Let's see what we can see there. Anything in Could be a fragilate cyst. But yeah, that's that's definitely amoeba. That's what you want to see. But where where'd our yeah, let's shoot out, out here real quick. Where did our uh, our nematode bounce on us? Where'd he go? Yeah, where did you go? 
Sometimes they're quick. Huh. I don't see him. Is he just still? Aha! There he is. All right. That's pretty centered. Oops, wrong way. Quick. Oh, there he is. And there we have it. There's the nematode. Exactly what you want to see in the soil. And let's see. Let me put a little bit more shading. Just our light a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Need a little bit more light. Let's see if we can identify him. So what we want to look for is his mouth. Which is down over here the way he's going. So yeah, I see kind of he doesn't have a real pointy mouth. That's an indication of a bacterial feeder, which is the kind we want to see and not a root feeder. Justin Vulgus. There you go. Yeah. Good or aerobic microorganisms. That's what we want to see. And I would. It looks like it's actually he's got his tail pinched off. Maybe, uh, maybe there's some bigger predatory nematode eating nematodes in here. But this guy, I'm pretty sure from the way he's moving and the way his mouth looks, he is a bacterial feeder. Just going around there, eating up the bacteria. I don't see any spike or anything in his head that would be used to punch into a fungi. Or a plant root. Yeah. All right. Let's see what else we see. That is a big A plus for Dad Soil right there. Finding a nematode. That's what you want to see. All right. Let's get some focus. And anybody remember which way we were going? I think we we're. Did we hit the top and come back down? Yeah, we're way up at the top, so let's go down. Yeah, we were going down. What else might we find? Found amoeba. We found a cyst, I believe. And here's a... Yeah, there's an example of a... It's got some nice separations here, the septi. And this looks like another, it's probably a nice beneficial bacteria. Almost looks like it could be another small nematode right there taking a nap. Well, let's move on and see what else we can find. else moving in there. Actually my uh I turn on my losing light here, sun's going down. There we go. Now I can see what I'm doing a little bit better. Alright. Something move right there. Over. I think we were going up before. That's another big 
long strand. Seeing any septi in there though. And a lot more little clear bits over here. Hopefully they'll get aggregated soon. With the help of a little bit more fungi and bacteria do it too. Glue everything all together. A little bit more focus. looking organic matter most likely that big yellow thing piece of a plant oh there's oh I think there was a a gnat flew in front of my face not a fragilet shooting across the screen what else we see This part of the slide's a lot more busy. A lot of nice aggregates over here. Still some big chunks of sand and whatnot, but we did add a little bit of sand into the soil. Just a little. And a little clay for the macronutrients or micronutrients or which, whichever one it is. All right, let's see. It's stuck up over here. Anything? Hm. Big piece of plant matter. All right. Shoot back down. We're getting yeah. We're about two thirds of the way through the slide here. Everything's all clumped up over here. Thought we did a pretty good job spreading this slide out, but not the best. Could use some work on that. Everything all equally dispersed. It's hard when you put a drop in the middle, then you gotta space it out throughout the whole square slide without really disturbing it too much. There's a nice looking fun guy there in the middle. I wonder if that's it coming out of a spore, if it's just... No, it looks like it's just attached to that uh, piece of sand or silt there. It's probably getting some nutrients out of there. Working on feeding the plants. That looks like a nice little football shaped fungal spore. Would be my guess. Usually they're a little darker when I see them. For certain. else in here. All right. We got one more up and one more down. Feel free to hit me up with any questions you may have in the chat.
I'm no expert, but can answer him to the best of my knowledge. I see somebody moving there. Yeah, that's just a little small piece of leaf. Pretty cool looking though. All the little plant cells. Yeah, but you definitely want organic matter in your soil. together area. Hard to spot stuff in here. But pretty good sized creature should be knocking all this stuff about. Still able to move. Unless you're just squished in there. nematode two nematodes oh this one's not moving let's 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 look at him nice and close we can identify this one for certain let's go in oh, more light get focused there you are no more light Is that your tail or your mouth? Mm -hmm. It's a big nematode. Yeah, well that's his tail, for sure. Yeah, way too skinny to be his mouth up there. This may be a predator nematode. No spike in his head. It's very, very large. But. I forget exactly what the nematode's mouths look like that eat other nematodes. I think they're pretty. I thought they had more of a mouth looking thing to him but there's definitely he's definitely not a root feeder he's not a fungal feeder because we don't see any signs of a spike there he's got a mouth and a throat I don't know if, if I were to guess with the size of him and everything I would say this guy eats other nematodes which is I mean predators are part of the soil food web and they're needed even though we like our nematodes in the soil, so don't eat them all, but still, still a good sign. Pretty wild looking. Not seeing that little, whoa. You just snap at something? Your mouth still look the same? My guess is that's nematode that eats other nematodes. Or a bacteria feeder. Not seeing any signs of the other the other types. But pretty neat. Alright, we're gonna go back out to hundred, do a little, a little bit more scanning around. 
Oh, yeah, we gotta adjust our lay. Oh, wrong way. Yeah, right here. Good things that you wanna see. Alright, let's go up a little bit more. See if we can find anything else. Right about over to here, and let's head down. Okay, how far are we from the edge here? Well, we might get two more passes out of this. Finding some cool stuff, so. Couple little fungi strands. Just an aggregate. One of those spidery clear strands. We'd be looking really good if we didn't see so many of those spidery clear strands could use more fungi though hmm. yeah that one I don't know like to see some more darker fungi strands alright let's head back up Busy area again. Not as busy. We're a pretty close to the edge here. Clear strands. It's a weird looking aggregate. Maybe that's a piece of biochar or something. Might be. Just guessing because it's black. That is a good looking. That looks like a nice fungal hyphae. Slides drying. All right, where are we? Yeah, we got one more pass back down. Right about here. Yep, there's the edge of the slide. We'll take one more pass. See if we look anything interesting. See if we can find anything interesting to look at. I mean, and then we're probably gonna call it a night. Yeah, 
Yeah, but we try to do a live stream and check out a new soil every week, Tuesdays, 8 o'clock, Eastern Standard Time, 8 p.m. And, uh, yeah, so if you want to learn about soil and the microbiology that makes our plants healthier, yield more, and is healthier for us, definitely, uh, you know, give me a follow. Check out my uh, my website, shootingthesoil.com, and uh, we'll be posting, reposting this on Twitch. I mean, we're on Twitch now. I'll be reposting the recording on YouTube, if you're not watching it there already, recorded. But, uh, yeah, subscribe for more videos and garden tours and updates. We'll show you the good and the bad. How everything works out. Yeah, I kind of wanted to see if this was a... Oh, wrong way. I want to go into here. Take one last look in at 400X. There we go. Take a look at the bacteria. Oh yeah, it's a nice fungal. Nice fungal hyphae there. Yep, just... Yeah, uh, uh, it doesn't actually look attached, just looks touching. But. Yeah, I think it's just on top of it. But, yep, yeah, I was hoping it was, because <laughs> that's what they'll do. They'll grab onto the salt silt and extract nutrients, phosphorus, all sorts of stuff from these little par minerals or sand particles. Fungi are really good for that. Yeah, a couple of nice, two little, nice little breaks. Nice color. Mostly humic acids that give it that color. And other nutrients that uh, it's providing for your plants. Abundant nutrients, all sorts of good stuff. Alright. Plant matter there. Weird little perfectly round thing right there. Might become kind of small amoeba. Usually a little bit bigger than that. I don't know. Or uh, fragile cyst. I think I was looking at a couple of things that look like that. Kind of looks like it has, yeah, two little cell walls and some stuff in there. It's a, probably a little flagellate cyst. I th possibly. To the best of my knowledge, that's that would be my half-educated guess. Actually, put a little bit more shading. We'll get a little bit more detail. Show off some cool stuff here. Yeah, see, see, this was a clear piece of. You know, this was all clear, but now the uh, bacteria are spitting out their glue which then uh, makes this mineral actually excrete the nutrients that the bacteria wants and uh, the glue that kind of holds everything together and, and this I that's I can't remember the name of this amoeba testate amoeba I think but there's an amoeba for you Another very good sign and something you want to see in your soil. It's them and the nematodes that are aerobic. Meaning they like a lot of oxygen su to survive. Yeah. And they break down all sorts of stuff in the soil and make it plant available as well. Look at that big old aggregate. Big old aggregate. Yep, that's what happens when it all gets glued together. It's all just a colony for bacteria and microbial life to do their thing. Yeah, a little bit more. All right. 
Well, I think we're going to call it there. But, uh, yeah, definitely, uh, you know, hook up a, uh, hook up a subscribe and a follow if you would. And, uh, yeah, we'll catch you on the next video. And, oh, if you're interested in me looking at your soil, that is something you could do. Check out shootingthesoil.com. And, uh, I got my email on there. Shoot me over an email. And, uh, yeah, we'll check out your soil under the scope if you're interested. And, alright, until the next one, we'll catch you guys later, and happy growing!